Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a ship with me. You're gonna see how I ship all of these items. And then I also talk about my current business plans since I just recently announced that me and my husband are going to be moving tiny. So you'll get to learn a little bit about where my thoughts are, where my plans are, where the trajectory, where the trajectory is going. Um, so you'll find that out in today's video. Today we are shipping. Um, so I have never done a ship with me video on my channel before. My cat is about to jump up here just so you guys know. I'm going to try and keep the stuff away from him that isn't already backed up. Yes. I haven't done a ship with me video on my channel before yet. I have done like a few clips here and there of what I do, but I've never done like a full video on it. So I'm still not going to do like a full explanation of how I ship because I feel like most people that watch my channel know how to ship items. I'll mention a few things here and there, but basically I'm just going to go over all my sales from this previous weekend. I ended up having 10 sales on Poshmark and four on Mercari. And then I also went to buy sell trade stores and sold, I think it was 109 items which ended up being like about $400. So this was a very profitable weekend for me. Um, let's see, 303 on Poshmark of sales. What are you doing? 45 on Mercari and what was it? About $400 at the buy sell tree store. So not too bad. Um, so normally, can you get down please? Okay, so I usually start off with items that have not been pre-packaged. And by that, I mean just in these clear bags. These were in my room, so I know that there's no cat hair on them. These are just a bundle of three Gymshark leggings. I sold them on Poshmark for, let's see, $90. And these were for me personally, so I didn't make a huge profit on them. I made a little bit of a profit, but they just, the style wasn't right for me. So I decided to go ahead and uh, give them a new home. So yeah, if it's not already pre-bagged in the clear bag, I'll put it in the clear bag and then put it in a poly mailer and put the shipping label on. All right, and I went ahead and printed off all of my Poshmark labels and Mercari labels. So now when I print them off, I print them off one by one and then I'll write on the back what they are. So now I just gotta find this one. Here we are. Gym shark. I have the label, peel it off and First package done. Okay, so something else I wanted to do in today's video while I ship, I don't know how successful I'll be with the cats here, um, but I wanted to, hopefully he'll wanna play this. You wanna play with this? I wanted to also talk about my new business plans for me, not my channel per se, but for reselling because I announced in my last video that me and my husband are going to be moving tiny. And you're not gonna be sitting in there, no. All right, so next item, I'm gonna need a box for these shoes. These are just some Nobles that I originally bought for myself, but they just didn't work out. So um, they sold for $105. So I didn't make a huge profit on these. It's a sale nonetheless, and they've been sitting in the closet. So I almost view it as fully profit because I originally bought it for myself. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in a box and tape that up, send it on its way. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about while I ship is my new business plans. Are my new business plans? I don't know. Proper English. Somebody help me. Some of my new business plans, because in the last video, in the last video, I ended up announcing that um, my husband and I are going to be moving tiny, hopefully by the end of the year, if not by next summer for sure, fully. Um, and so that means that I'm going to have to drastically go get it. to entertain my cat too. It means that I'm gonna have to drastically decrease my reselling inventory um, and just keep my reselling more intentional. So I wanted to kind of talk about my business plans too while I ship my future business plans, my current business plans, whatever you want to call it. So I guess that brings me to point number one is that yeah, we're moving tiny, so I'm have gone down from an inventory of about 600 items from the beginning of the year, 600, 700 items. Right now I'm at about 280. So I've been working on just selling out a lot of my inventory so far this year and it is working out. Of course you guys didn't know the reason why until just the previous video that I put out. But I 
am still wanting to resell. We're just going to have to minimize down to about four big bins and not like the clock tower in London, like big like Tupperware bins, Tupperware? I don't know, Rubbermaid bins. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to downsize to four bins. So I'm thinking that maybe depending on what I'm planning on reselling, and I've talked about it in previous videos too, I plan on continuing doing like some little small liquidations. So these are free people bras and bralettes. So I plan on doing these. So if I have four bins, then I could probably stuff anywhere from like 50 to 75, maybe even 100, I might be able to squeeze in depending on the size of the bins. Maybe I'll upgrade depending on how much room we have. But I'm thinking of about keeping my inventory ideally between the 200 and 300 mark with having small liquidation. So I think I'm gonna start transitioning my thrifting to be thrifting for Flip. And I've talked about Flip in previous videos and in fact, they are sponsoring today's video. So thank you to Flip. Quick little message about Flip real quick. Flip is a new app that is on both Apple and Android devices. It is for resellers by resellers. It is a dual feature app where you can be both a client and a pro seller, also known as a reseller, which you're already doing if you're probably watching my channel. I am leaning more into the client side. I am putting up lots on Flip so other pro sellers, resellers can sell my items for me on consignment. Flip makes selling hassle-free. All the selling is done by the reseller and I can sell up to 30 items in a lot. All I have to do is take one picture of each item, put everything in a box, wait to be matched with a pro seller, approve their consignment application, and send it on its way. On the pro seller side, pro sellers can source on Flip for new inventory, hassle-free thrifting, if you will, where you find designer and premium brands because Flip is a little bit of a stickler on brand styles and condition. Not gonna lie, that is a fantastic thing to be a stickler on. They have great brands like Nike, Lululemon, Gucci, Michael Kors, Free People, Patagonia, Coach, Tory Burch, you name it. There are so many brands that you can expect to find when sourcing on Flip. New lots get posted every business day at 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern. When selling with Flip, you are covered with the Flip Protection Policy. This helps you to stay 100% confident when sending your items to a pro seller. Each pro seller is vetted and verified with their ID and everything is put automatically on a 90-day consignment. If items are not sold within those 90 days, they have multiple options for you to get your items back or roll it over into a new consignment window. Flip also has a new feature where you can buy out lots immediately when applying for them. You can just go ahead and put in a set price so that way there is no back and forth with consignment. You can just pay for it straight up. So that is another great option for resellers. As a client, so far I have made hundreds of dollars. Currently I have about $150 waiting for me from some of my favorite pro sellers who are constantly selling my items. I've been using them for the last four months and I can say that I can forever see myself using them they just keep getting better and better if you haven't started using flip check out the description below there will be a link to sign up as a client or a pro seller so yeah I'm gonna be planning on thrifting primarily for flip and or consignment whatever you want to call it um, so I'm still going to be thrifting I might still personally resell like small items for myself I'm not doing a good job of still shipping So the, the reselling that I'm gonna be doing, it'll be these small little free people bras and bralettes and whatever other small liquidation things that I can fit into four bins. When I'm thrifting for flip, if I find something tiny and I feel like I could make a better profit by myself, then I might just go ahead and resell it myself. I am primarily just gonna thrift for flip and for consignment. So with that, I'm gonna have to be more mindful of the brands and the styles that I'm picking up because they are a little bit more selective of what they accept. But that is gonna be a big part of my new business plan is I'm looking to put two lots on flip per week. So that would probably be anywhere from 50 to 60 items. Ideally, I would be doing 30 items to max it out to save the most on shipping.
So yeah, ideally um, we'll have 50 to 60 items per flip lot. So I'd be putting up about hopefully 50 to 60 items per week on flip um, across multiple pro sellers. So, so I'd be looking to put up 200 to 240 items a month on flip. So I'm still gonna be thrifting, but just for flip consignment. This is just an easy way for me to still make really good profits, almost similar profits that I would make on my own. I definitely am all about getting everybody a good deal and there's more people that stick to their guns than I would. So it kind of makes more sense for me to like consign it out because they would be more strict with the, with the pricing. So let's see, the medium is on Poshmark. Sold for seven. So being on flip, so having 200 to 240 items submitted on flip per month across multiple pro sellers, I am, my goal is to hopefully consistently bring in anywhere from like, my ultimate goal is a thousand dollars, but for now, if I can consistently bring in $500 a month on flip, then it'll be a good business move. Oh, I also forgot to mention, I have, I get all my poly mailers from Eco and Close. They are made of recycled material and then the buyer can then recycle them as well. So I really like them. I'll find the link and put it in the description for you guys. Okay, so my new business plans. Primarily, yes, I'm still gonna be reselling. It's just gonna be more liquidation and small reselling because I'm slowly still decreasing my inventory. I still plan to make anywhere from, to try to average $1,000 in profit per month, um, which I am still consistently doing right now. But then adding on flip, I would like to consistently, in the very near future, consistently bring in $500 a month on flip um, every month. So that would bring me up to $1,500 total for reselling. Um, but the ultimate goal is $1,000 additional a month um, from the flipping consignment, which I totally think is doable with me thrifting and then literally taking one picture of the item and sending it off to a pro seller, a better, I wouldn't say a better reseller than me, but they're just more, it's like, they're more tunnel vision, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So those are my main new business goals, but what I also want to start doing is with my thrifting, because I know there's still a lot of really good brands that aren't really accepted on Flip because they are, um, I think they call it low resell or it's more saturated, but um, sometimes it's not, like some stuff that sells really, really well. Sorry, my cat's not the craziest. The least looks large. Um, so I'm thinking about the third thing to my new business plan. I'm thinking about it. Let me get, let me know in the comments below if you, I mean, I feel like some people are interested in it because I've done them in the past, but let me, just let me know your thoughts. But I'm thinking of while I'm out thrifting, still picking up some of those, some of those types of brands that might not necessarily go on flip or even ones that do go on flip and I'll just create fun little, I'll just include them in there. But I'm thinking of doing mystery boxes like consistently on my Poshmark closet. Um, where I'm basically just gonna be doubling my cost of goods. So that way I'm also helping you guys out as well. I think, I'm thinking that might be a fun little addition to my new business plan. I don't know, I'm thinking just of me just basically doubling my cost of goods. So like a $25 box with $5 shipping. So 30 bucks total for like a five pound box as as much stuff that I could put in. That is something I'm thinking about for my, for another business plan. But the ultimate goal is to still bring in about $1,000 a month with my personal reselling and then $1,000 a month with flip and consignment because I'm also consigning with my friend Macy over at Blue Consignment. Um, and yeah, I haven't really found any other additional like small business consignment stores for online reselling. So if you guys are one, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely check you out and consider giving me some business. Um, let's see, I think that was basically all the, all the things with my business plan. I guess another aspect that I wanted to, I guess let you guys in on is I also plan on getting quick flips through buy, sell, trade stores again, like I did this past weekend. 
So I ended up buying some, oh shoot, where are they from? From Target, like A New Day and Wild Fable and I don't know, a bunch of those brands. I got it off of Jomar, which is a wholesale place. And I got it through a really good discount. So my cost of goods were only like $3.50. Well, I took a lot of those items with a lot of other items, but primarily those items up to my buy sell trade stores, which is Plato's and Uptown Cheapskate. And they ended up buying everything that because it was all new with tags items. Um, and I I think on average each each they bought everything for about four dollars and forty cents. So I may I didn't you know make any crazy amounts of profit, but I still made about ninety cents profit per item, which I was shocked by. I was shocked at how much they bought. So I ended up selling a ton, like a ton to both Play-Dohs and Uptown Cheapskate. So I ended up going to Uptown Cheapskate first, but they were super busy. So I let them go through like two bags. And then I went to Play-Dohs. They went through like my full, my full five or six bags. They bought a bunch. I got like $200 in cash from them. But then I went back to Uptown Cheapskate. They went through the last four bags. They bought a ton. I think, yeah, it was like 109 items total that I ended up selling. And the Uptown Cheapskate, the first payout was like one, I wanna think it was like 160 and the other one was 120. Yeah, it was, it was 160, 120. So I actually made closer to $500. But all of the Uptown Cheapskate uh, items that I ended up selling, I just accepted the in-store credit option instead of accepting it in cash because you do get 25% more if you accept the in-store credit. And I decided to do that because they were also running an 80% sale. So I went through there, found a lot of good stuff that I could then put on Flip for people to consign with me. Um, and on, I think on average on Flip, I'm making a profit of anywhere of 10 to $15 per item, um, which is about, if you guys have been following me for a while, that is about my average profit per item with me reselling, period, for the last two years. So I'm like, well, why would I not do that? Like I'm helping out other resellers while helping myself and saving time. It just, it makes so much sense. So anyways, I'm thinking that another big part of my business plan is my new business plan rather is to utilize the buy, sell trade stores. And I don't know why I haven't done it. All. Well, I know why I haven't done it that much just because they're a little bit of a drive for me, but I think hoarding it all for like a few weeks at a time and doing some trips or doing a trip out there um, will definitely work out. But my, my friend Chelsea here on YouTube as well, she does a lot of buy, sell, trade store stuff. She has been going to buy, sell, trade stores as a big part of her business plan, her business model rather. I'm talking about my plans. Her business model is she shops at the bins and she will source for the buy, sell, trade stores. So it's basically quick flips and it more or less pays for her entire bins trip. Um, and then everything that's good that she wants to resell for a higher profit per item um, is all, well, it's, it all then becomes profit because those smaller items that she sold to her buy, sell, trade stores, it completely pays for the entire order. If that makes sense. Hopefully you guys are following. A pretty good option for me to do since I will be thrifting on sale days at the bins for flip but then I'm also thinking that some of those items I don't know depending on a schedule maybe like once a week I'll drop mystery boxes I don't know it's exciting but these are kind of like my thoughts these are my plans right now Still plan on selling out of the majority of my inventory. I honestly need to go through it soon and just pull some stuff that I know is just not, it's not gonna sell. I'm gonna like, I don't know, do a declutter of my inventory. Get it fully squared away. I wanna get it squared away by the end of the year to where I'm in those four bins, just working out of those four bins. I guess the sooner the better. Those are my plans, you guys, just related to the reselling world. Um, I also still make quite a nice chunk of income from YouTube, from if you guys, if you watch my ads, I also make money from, um, from affiliate services that I'm with. 
I also make stuff from digital products that I sell, um, from the tutoring that I offer. I feel like I'm missing something. I'm also, I also started our second channel, hopefully to get that monetized soon. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, what I do with shoes now, I just put them in a big clear bag and then I put them in a big old eBay bag. I got these for free when I had my eBay store and when you got a coupon for free shipping supplies, I am no longer selling on eBay, at least for the time being. You guys probably know that from my previous videos, but I don't know. I kinda also don't wanna talk about it because I know people are, I don't know. I'm just not happy with eBay right now. So I'm just taking a break from them for a while while I get, I don't know, ducks in a row once I kind of figure out my groove with living tiny and then maybe I'll go back to it. But for now, I think I'm just gonna stick with Poshmark and Mercari. Um, Mercari has been super slow lately, maybe just cause it's summertime because I only ended up having five sales over the weekend there in comparison to Poshmark where it had double the amount. So that's interesting. But I am still consistently bringing in whatever my two to four sales a day. So that's why I would still like to continue reselling on my own, even with it being more intentional, just because it's still steady income and shipping really doesn't take that long. It's just taking a little bit longer right now because my cats are being crazy. And I normally don't come out here and ship. Normally I just do it in my office and I swivel back and forth. But yeah, that's basically my shipping in a nutshell. All of the stuff that I use, I use this tiered organizer. I think we got it off of Amazon forever ago. If I can find the same one, then I'll link it in the description. It's super helpful. It is typically behind me in the office and then I just, like I said earlier, I'll swivel back and forth. But yeah, that's basically how I do my shipping. Pretty good for me, for being a part-time reseller. You guys know how I am. But for me, this is a pretty good weekend. Pretty steady, pretty pretty average, I guess I would say, about whatever, two to four sales a day. But yeah, that's how I do my shipping and those are my plans for my business while me and my husband transition to tiny living. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got to see a little bit of the behind the scenes of what I do as a reseller that I've never really shown before. If you did, make sure to hit the like button because it does support my channel and I really appreciate it. And yeah, and thank you to Flip for sponsoring today's video. And with that, we'll catch you in the next one, you guys. Bye.